Your first project holds the promise of the new technology you're introducing to your organization. If selected and executed well, it can be a showcase that makes it easier to achieve repeated success with subsequent programs of work. Every business is competing in a digital landscape, irrespective of the industry. In our modern digital age, speed is key. Speed gives the ability to respond to business challenges and opportunities with digital solutions quickly and at scale. Your ability to quickly build and manage APIs with Apigee is a key tool for success. Your first delivery needs to demonstrate and validate to your organization your ability to deliver at speed something that matters to the company. We call this delivery the minimum viable business outcome. Your MVBO is an early win that delivers APIs that are core to your business and creates early momentum with a pathway for its repeated success. Drawing from many years of working with enterprise customers to help them with delivering on their API programs, we've seen patterns that typically lead to increased risk of failure or the transformation program stalling out. Let's take a look. Typical adoption patterns look like an S-curve, as shown here. The first part of the curve is a short, and after all, you have the budget and the team to get the first delivery completed. However, subsequent adoption can be harder and is often predicated on the success of the early deliveries. In our experience, customers who get into production quickly with something core to their business are able to maintain and build stronger momentum on the platform and are much more successful at achieving their goals of speed and agility over the long term. Careful selection of your first project will help you achieve this. We'd like to offer three essential components that will improve your chances for success. We think about these three characteristics for selecting your first project. Ready, rewarding, and relevant. Let's explore these characteristics in more detail. Completing your first delivery quickly with something core to your business gives your program its strongest start. Ready means selecting an MVBO that allows for that quick delivery. This means ideally avoiding items that may require significant backend refactoring that might take many months to complete, or avoiding the items that have dependencies on other programs of work that will take also months to complete. For example, an API for a mobile app refresh planned months in the future. Rewarding means ensuring your MVBO is a strong showcase and demonstrates value to the organization. Ideally, value here means recognizable value to your business leadership. That is a real and tangible impact to your bottom line. You may be enabling a new line of revenue or increased engagement with customers. The best examples are measurable with respect to the end user of your business. For example, for retail, this might be measured in sales. For insurance, it might be measured in handling time for new claims processing. A great example will also provide bragging rights for your sponsor. You might want to deliver something that allows your leadership to widely share the success to help bring attention to the new capability that was delivered quickly. Relevant means that the initial MVBO is a good use case for API management. This could be reducing friction for developer adoption through better self-service de developer portals, or measuring usage through analytics that allow traffic to be tied back to the business drivers. Starting by selecting an MVBO that is ready, rewarding, and relevant will provide for the strongest start in a way that sets your program up for sustained momentum and long-term success. I'd like to share a couple real-world customer stories that show how starting with a good MVBO led to that success, long-term. The first is a multinational bank operating out of the Middle East wanting to demonstrate the ability to get new products to market quickly. Furthermore, their leadership were looking to showcase product innovation. The project team responsible for deploying Apigee decided to start with a handful of pretty straightforward APIs. One was an identity API to track user authorization, an account API with the ability to set savings interest rates, and a wrapper for the Apple Watch API that could pull step count information. The team was able to launch a new savings account that linked to your Apple Watch such that the further you walked, the higher your interest rate. Pretty nice, huh? Importantly, they were able to launch this new product in just 12 weeks, way faster than the typical timeframes for product development for this bank. 
That's even better. Our second example comes from retail. This well-established brick and mortar retailer was looking to defend against online only new market entrants by successfully launching their own e-commerce store. Instead of trying to do too much at the start, they began with simple use cases that were core to enabling the e-commerce business, including inventory and customer information. After securing success and confidence by delivering on these early use cases, they found other business leaders in the organization coming to the API team to create and access similar tools. Over time, this led to a build out of a full set of capabilities towards establishing a federated ecosystem where distributed sellers could do business with customers via the API powered e-commerce platform. Best of luck with your first project. If you want more information, please check out the community for eBooks, articles, and other related topics. Thank you for watching.